We recently took a vacation in Nashville, and on our way back, we stopped off and spent the night at a town called Cumberland, located in Maryland. And little did we know when we woke up the next day that they have a historic train station with boxcars and other rolling stock uh, positioned out front. And uh, we just thought it would be a nice place to walk around. So we took some video of inside and outside this train station. Stay tuned. About... So we spent a week in Nashville and on the way back we swung up by Kentucky and then headed over to come back home to Long Island and we stumbled across this town, uh, Cumberland, and it's great downtown. The whole area, is it was awesome. They had all these murals on it and all of a sudden I saw this, the, the water feeder, and, and I said, wow, that's what I've always seen in MTH and, and I've seen them in... Uh, uh, you know, Lionel and model trains, and I was just like, wow, that's so interesting that they have one well kept. So we started looking around, and then we saw the boxcars when we were across the river. So we crossed over the footbridge, and uh, all of a sudden, you know, we walked up to these things, and these things are massive when, when you could stand next to them, right? So here's a covered hopper that was there, and a couple of boxcars, and a, and a refrigerator car, and just the way everything was positioned here was just, it was incredible. It was, it was so nice to see. Um, we didn't know anything about Cumberland and, and about, you know, the, um, the Western Maryland train that runs through here. Um, and so we're just walking around, and it's so cute because here Mackenzie was really sad, uh, and because, you know, Back behind that locked gate was this piece that we were actually looking at because while we were there we saw an image of it and it's actually brick that comes out and it's a it's a back of a caboose and an engine. Um, so yeah, so you know we were just walking around in a bit. It was a little chilly, but you know it was free of charge. You know they don't charge anything. And then you know again, so we got closer to the to this and we started seeing that water was dripping down from it. And I'm like, wow, I'm like, that's that's so interesting, that, that water. Um, little did we know that there is a huge steam engine that they actually operate part of a scenic tour. Uh, it wasn't the day that we were here, but we've seen a lot of pictures of it. It's the number 1309, um, Chesapeake and Ohio, 1309. And they run it on weekends and other days on, on scenic trips. The next time they're going to run it is June of 2023 when it gets closer to Father's Day. So this is definitely something, a place that we're definitely going to have to come back to um, and do these scenic tours. So again, as we were just sitting there walking around and I'm taking all these pictures. I love these, right? These are the old school rail, uh, railway expressway, um, hold the luggages. And then once I went down a pair of steps, I found it. I found the wall that we were trying to get to. Um, and look at it. I mean, it's just a, a piece of artwork and, and it's awesome. But to see like the real life refrigerated cars and and the luggage um, carts that, that are there and, and, and the condition that they are, that all these are, it was just very impressive. It was uh, really nice to see, you know, all of these there. And again, it's, it's absolutely free. Now this part here, this was really what threw me off, okay? Because all of a sudden I hear in the distance, um, you know, an engine, right? And I hear, I hear a GP horn. something. And uh, I'll let you watch the rest of this, but um, this was something that, that was really impressive to us. And this is when we learned that they actually have a scenic tour. And they alternate between the 1309 steam engine um, and a uh, and diesel power. Yeah, it's a... Uh... It is. Don't car. 
So after it pulled up, we sat there and looked around, and, and again, it was really nice that it was a, a diesel engine on both ends, and the cars that are in the middle, they range anywhere from the 1950s and 60s, and uh, they have different excursions that are going on. They have a breakfast excursion. They have a, a another one that's in the middle of the day. Um, really great to see that these pieces that have been, you know, been around for 50, 60, 70 years, and they're still intact, they're still operational, and we went inside the the train station that was in the 1913 that was built in 1913 um and it was really just great to see all of the historic um, fin uh, f um finishes this bench i'm told it was the original one so that bench in itself is 110 years old you got the ticket station there what we didn't do is shoot video of the um gift shop they have a really nice gift shop right on the other side of this uh but again you know going around seeing this was just amazing just seeing that you know the, the nostalgia that the you know being able to just think back and, and try to imagine more or less you know what this would have looked like when this was bustling when this was actually used for transportation and not just uh for tourist uh purposes these windows i thought were fascinating because right here you got a crank at the bottom a hand crank and it opens up all three again we got some more pictures uh from walking around if you're new to this channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and while you're at it, ring that train bell. So this way you get notified every single time we upload a new video. This is Mackenzie from Lens Train Fanatics, signing off.